This is a demo for fearless app. The person who's traveling will basically launch the app by clicking on the app icon here. This brings you to onboarding screen due to time sensitiveness. I will skip this right now. So you arrive directly at the action once you skip the onboarding screen. So one thing which you should, uh, should you see here is we don't have a, a login screen. We identify each user uniquely by the phone number. So right now I am in uh, Facebook Menlo Park campus, as you can see. Uh, I want to go get a coffee. So there are two ways for me to set a destination. One is I can move around the marker within the map. If there is some place nearby, some near coffee place which I like, I can drop this on top of the coffee place. And similarly, the address bar will reflect that. Now I want to go back to my original location. Uh, I can click on this. It comes and sits nicely on top of this blue icon here. Or if I have a preset uh, location in my mind, I can search for it by clicking here and uh, searching for Starbucks. I want to go, say I want to go to Starbucks uh, in University Avenue. Yeah, let's just collect this. And once a destination is set, now I need to add my friends who will watch over me during my journey from Menlo Park to Starbucks in University Avenue. So I can do that by clicking on this Add Friends and it brings up the Add friend screen. I want to add my friend uh, Swanand. So I will uh, search for Swanand here. I see Swanand here, I just click on his name and I'm done. I can add any number of friends there and, uh, and those friends become default option for the future trips and you can always come to an Add friend screen and you can change it whenever you want. So let me go ahead and start the trip. Once we start the trip, the app basically becomes a monitoring device. It starts monitoring your location, mm -hmm. speed, phone, sh phone shake, headphone detection. So at any point in the trip, if you feel like you're overwhelmed by all these sensors, you can pause all these sensors by clicking here and using the pause sensors button and you can resume the sensors once you pause it as well. So one, now we have arrived at this beautiful monitoring screen where we have two important components. One is the maps component as you can see here. The other one is the chat historical timeline component. So uh, in the maps component, you have this blue marker here, which basically represents your origin, where you started your journey from. And it also has this green marker here, which says your destination, which is a Starbucks in University Avenue. And you also have this uh, black marker here, where a person, which looks like resembles a person, which is you and your current position, basically. So uh, let me just fish, shift over. Once you start a trip, right, so, and I added Swananda as the watcher, he instantly got a notification from Fearless saying that a trip has been started by me. So all he can do is he can just click on this notification and he will directly arrive at the monitoring screen, which you saw earlier. So once he is in the monitoring screen, he can just basically click on this map, which opens up the map in a bigger view. And he can basically play around with the map and see like, okay, where I started, where I'm going and where my current position is. And he can again click on it and it brings back the chat historical timeline. Um, now, Fawn can reply back to me saying, got it. Saying that, okay, he's watching over me. So this basically sends out a notification again for me saying, got it. So. I got the message from got it. I can acknowledge it's got it by sending another got it. So. Finally, we're all set now. I am heading towards my Starbucks and Swanand is watching over me. So as I'm heading to Starbucks, I realized that there is this hooded guy who has been following me very closely. And after careful inspection, I see that this hooded guy is not a Facebook employee. Now I'm really freaking out. So I want to let Swanand know about it that I'm freaking out. So there are multiple ways for me to do that. If Time is a constraint. I can do this very simply by shaking the phone. So by shaking the phone, it sent out a message to Swanan saying that uh, user phone shake has detected. So all he can do is click on this notification here and he comes back to this screen or right away. And you can see the user phone shake detected messages here. And another way to do that for me is using a sticky notification. As you can see on the top of the screen, once I create a trip, this three sticky notification basically lives through the life of the trip. And uh, this basically represents um, 
uh, one on the top, all the three basically represents the three different actions basically. So I if I'm freaking out, I can just click on this freaking out icon here. It sends mm -hmm. out a I am freaking out button to Fanand. Or if I want to acknowledge what Fanand is saying, I can directly do it from here without even going to that by saying the got it button. Mm -hmm. And also if I'm really freaking out and I want my phone to call cops for me, I can click on the call the cops for me button. Mm -hmm. So accordingly, uh, Fanand gets the notification here saying, okay, I'm freaking out, got it, and call the cops for me. Now, Fanand is also worried, like, what's happening, right? Because I'm sending out all this. So he's like, uh, are you fine? Replies back saying, are you fine? And uh, since this hooded guy is really close to me right now, and then he comes, he comes off, and then he tries to snatch my phone and my backpack. Um, I, I in during this ordeal, my headphone which I was wearing comes off from the headphone jack. So now fearless monitors this as well. So and a fear headphone unplug notification is sent to Fanon, and if and if Fanon is basically doing something else in his phone, he can, he also gets a chatted with a red and exclamation mark. And he can definitely not avoid this, so he can basically click on that exclamation mark and it comes to the monitor screen right away. And uh, he is like no, totally freaked out, so he, since I'm not responding as well, uh, what he, he has multiple options now. He can basically call the cops by clicking on this call the cops for me button. Or since he know my current position, he can directly navigate to me by clicking on my marker here and using Google Maps to navigate to me directly. 